Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're gonna check it out. Adobe Illustrator's latest updates, Illustrator 2023. So the first tool is you go to object and it is called the interwine. Select the make and with this tool basically you can overlap and intertwine some of the parts on the vector. It looks like the lasso tool in Photoshop by the way and it's like super easy and fast. So if you're into Celtic signs then this tool is going to help you a lot. You can select the direct selection tool and recolor some of the shapes as you can see they're still in one piece. I'm gonna go to object, interwine. Let's see what else we can do. We got the release and it's gonna release it back how it was before. And of course, now I cannot edit, but I can still go to object, interwine and click on edit. And with this is gonna change it to the lasso tool and basically you can switch it up how you like. I'm really curious how this is gonna look after expanding. I'm gonna go to object, expand, click OK. Ooh, interesting, check this out. So we got these things that I draw with the lasso tool and they're like selected. I can right click, I can ungroup, right click. And we got like clipping masks going on. So these, so these parts basically are with clipping masks. So the part that basically you cut out with the lasso, you can just pull it out, but don't worry about it. So this is basically the clipping mask. I can right click, release clipping mask and you know, this is how it's masked in this little area. So it did a pretty good job. These are also masked, right click, release clipping mask and it's gonna go back to normal. By the way, you can share the files with your colleague, your clients. You can click on the share button here and share for review better. Check this out. Anyone with the link can comment or only invited people can comment. Click on create link. And this is going to upload it on your profile on the cloud. You can copy the link and it's going to open up on the creative cloud. And as you can see, it's a really low resolution image. I don't know why, but the second one, the text I did, it was good. Oh, by the way, I did figure out the problem. So check this out. This is a normal vector file without any modification. And then we got this where we apply the special effects. If you copy paste, for example, in Photoshop or you copy paste on the cloud, then it is gonna ruin the whole format. The vector file, if I zoom in, it's just perfect. And then we got this. So there's that. And basically here you can comment and submit. You also can go back here with the arrow and we got here the published. You can click here to permanently delete forever. And look at this, I go back to Illustrator and it's gonna show me the comment section. You also get this tab with the comments. You can see my comment here. You also can reply directly in Adobe Illustrator. And there's also like emojis. Another thing you can do is copy paste the same text format from Illustrator to InDesign. In my case, I don't have InDesign, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Next, you can add special effect on the text. Check this out, you can click on the search and we got here the quick actions, click on it. And we got some interesting special effects like the retro text or neon, I don't like these. And here we can see in the appearance, you can change and customize the special effects on the text. You can also rename it, double click, next update. Now you can also export your 3D compositions in 3D formats. You need to click on the 3DM materials, scroll down, export 3D objects, click on, you can go and select 3d formats thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye